I hope you're having a fantastic day, because watching the progress Aptera is making can only make it better. This is big. This is exciting. This is history in motion. Let's take a look at what Aptera is showing the world, and why those solar panels might just change transportation forever. The first thing that caught everyone's attention wasn't just that Aptera was finally on a true road trip. It's what the solar panels were doing while they traveled. We're talking real results, captured on camera, explained by the team themselves, and the numbers are surprisingly impressive. Picture this. It's a winter morning in Flagstaff, Arizona. There's cold air biting at everything around. Snow covers the edges of the pavement. The sun is low and weak, barely giving off the kind of power solar vehicles are supposed to need. In weather like this, traditional solar setups would produce a fraction of their potential. But Aptera? It was already pulling in 300 watts of power while just sitting still. No plugs, no gas, no charging stations, just sitting there and gaining energy. To put 300 watts into perspective, that's enough to power your laptop and phone and still have some energy left over. Add multiple free miles into the battery. Run home devices like lights or appliances, all while simply existing outdoors. Now that's impressive. But that wasn't the end of the story. Because when the team started driving and the environment improved, as the sky became slightly brighter and the weather warmed, those solar panels started doing something even better. As they rolled through that beautiful transition from snowy mountain landscape to the historic, almost cinematic scenery of Route 66, Aptera saw peaks of about 520 watts of solar energy flowing into the vehicle. Let's pause right there for a second. Over half a kilowatt on a day that was overcast. Most solar-powered anything under clouds becomes practically useless. But Aptera is fitted with aerospace-grade photovoltaic cells, optimized to capture not just direct sunlight, but diffuse light, the kind that scatters through clouds. This means that even if you live in a place where sunshine isn't full blast all year round, Aptera still benefits from the daylight. That's a big deal, especially for people who worry that solar wouldn't work in everyday weather conditions. Now, imagine summertime. Imagine clear skies. Imagine the sun at peak strength. Imagine longer daylight hours. Under the right circumstances, Aptera has the potential to gain around 40 miles of additional range per day just from the sun. That means some people may never need to plug in. For many daily commuters, the vehicle could power itself day after day after day. Aptera doesn't just conserve energy, it actually makes its own energy while existing in the world. This is probably the first car where waiting at a red light means you get more fuel. That's revolutionary. But solar power is only one part of what makes this road test significant because Aptera's team didn't choose a smooth, perfect test track. They didn't pick the ideal weather. They went to Route 66, one of the most historic and unpredictable roads in America. The moment the wheels started turning, they were met with the kind of pavement most people complain about daily. Cracked, patched, uneven surfaces that make you question whether road taxes are actually used on roads. Regular cars rattle and shake on this kind of terrain. But Aptera? It absorbed the bumps like a true road-ready vehicle. That sleek, aero-focused design isn't fragile like some might assume. The engineers clearly tuned the suspension with real-world roughness in mind. The team said that they barely felt the bumps inside, even when the road looked messy and harsh from the outside. Comfort isn't just a feature, it's built into the architecture. And that panoramic windshield? It doesn't just let you see the road, it lets you see the world. Mountains stretching into the horizon, 
valleys expanding outward like scenes from a documentary, every moment behind the wheel becomes a view worth remembering. It's immersive. It feels less like travel and more like exploration. Now here's where the story becomes more inspiring. Route 66, when it was first constructed, was considered impossible by many. It was too long, too ambitious, too bold. People doubted whether a project like that could ever be finished or useful. But once built, it changed how America moved. Today, Aptera is driving the same road and facing the exact same kinds of doubts. There's no way this will work. Solar cars aren't practical. They'll run out of money before anyone gets one. It's too different, too weird. And yet, here it is. Moving, charging, proving, advancing. History repeats itself. The innovations that create new eras always start by sounding crazy to the comfortable. People doubted airplanes. People doubted the internet. People doubted electric cars. Now, people doubt solar vehicles. And soon, they'll wonder why they ever did. Every smooth mile Aptera completes is a message to the world. We said we could do this, and we are doing it. They are showing progress, not promises. They are showing technology in action, not in slideshows. They are doing the hard work publicly, which is something many companies avoid when they're unsure of their future. Aptera isn't avoiding the public. Aptera is inviting the public to watch them succeed. Let's also talk efficiency, because that's the foundation that makes all the sunlight magic work. Aptera doesn't look like any other car, and that's intentional. Every part of its shape is tuned to eliminate wasted energy. Most vehicles waste unbelievable amounts of power pushing air out of the way. Even today's most advanced EVs are working against physics more often than with physics. Aptera, however, has the world's best aerodynamic drag coefficient for any production-intended passenger vehicle, 0.13. That's lower resistance than many sports cars, lower than nearly every EV on the road today. This means the vehicle doesn't fight air, it glides through it. Combine that with a super lightweight body, only three wheels to minimize friction and efficient motors in each wheel. And suddenly, every watt of energy becomes valuable. Every little bit of sunlight matters, nothing goes to waste. That's why Aptera can achieve ranges of 400, 600, or even up to 1,000 miles per charge, depending on configuration. They didn't ask, how big of a battery can we stuff into this thing? They asked, how little energy do we need to move efficiently and beautifully? That's the design philosophy that changes industries. Let's be honest. One of the biggest frustrations with EVs today isn't the cars. It's the charging. It's planning a road trip like it's a space mission. It's searching for chargers that actually work. It's paying high prices for fast charging when the station finally does work. It's waiting around while your vehicle powers up. People don't want more steps in their day. They want fewer. Aptera flips that entire experience upside down. Your vehicle charges when you go to work. It charges while you sleep. It charges while you grab takeout. It charges while you're parked outside a friend's house. It charges while you're stuck in traffic wishing you were anywhere else. It charges while you're out enjoying life. You never go to charge. Charging simply happens. That's not just convenient. That changes the psychology of owning a car. Imagine telling someone, I haven't plugged in my car for three months. Or, I forgot where my charging cable is. That's freedom of a different level. That is real progress. Now think about what happens when Aptera scales up production. No more national debates about charging infrastructure. No more fear of running out of power on long trips. No more waiting for the grid to catch up. The sun becomes your fueling network. The sky becomes your power station. Clean energy becomes personal, not something delivered by someone else. 
This is a transformation that can ripple through the entire auto industry. Some companies will embrace it, others will resist it and slowly fade away into history, like those who laughed at the idea of computers in every home. So let me ask you this. When the world finally changes, where will you be standing? With the ones who laughed or the ones who believed? I'm sure you already know your answer. Aptera isn't wondering whether solar mobility matters. They're already showing the world that it does. This road test wasn't just a test of solar panels. It was a test of belief, a test of engineering, a test of resilience, a test of vision. And Aptera passed with watts of power to spare. This journey across Route 66 has shown something that critics can't argue with. Video evidence of a working product, a real vehicle, on real roads, in real weather, charging itself from real sunlight. If Aptera wasn't serious, if they weren't making progress, they wouldn't be logging miles, they wouldn't be releasing footage, they wouldn't be collecting solar wattage data for us to see. Companies out of options do silence. Companies with a future do road trips. Watching this vehicle move through nature, turning every moment outdoors into energy, you can't help but feel something. Excitement, curiosity, pride, hope, and maybe most importantly, the feeling that we are witnessing a turning point. Not a concept, not a theory, a milestone. Aptera has miles behind it now and thousands more ahead. Every one of those future miles will help reshape what we expect from transportation. We may soon look back at gas stations the way we look at phone booths, strange relics of a world before convenience became obvious. We may look at charging stations as transition pieces, useful for a time, but eventually replaced by something better. We may look at the sun and say, that's my energy provider. The road trip continues, the testing continues, the improvements continue. But one thing is already clear, Aptera works. The solar panels work, the design works, the engineering works, the vision works. The mission is alive. The future didn't ask if we were ready, it simply arrived. So wherever you are today, whether the sun is shining or clouds are hanging low, remember this, right now, Somewhere along a ribbon of highway carved through the heart of America, a new era of mobility is rolling forward, powered quietly, confidently, beautifully, by the sky. And if the sun can move a car, what else can it move? Enjoy the rest of your day and just imagine what it feels like to drive into the future without burning a single drop of fuel because your energy is falling from above every single day.